Welcome to our lecture online. What do we mean by the lamb shift? Well, just like we discovered this very strange and very uh, subtle difference in the energy levels between states because of the interaction between the spin property of the electron and the orbital uh, motion of the electron causing a magnetic field to exist and the interaction between those causes slight differences in the energy uh, levels leading to the fine structures we call it we see some additional, even smaller shift called the Lamb shift. And what happened here in 1951, Willis Lamb discovered that the 2s state was actually at a slightly higher level than the equivalent 2p state. Notice it's the 2s one half and the 2p one half. Of course, the p state can have a 2p one half and a p three halves. But when we look at the, p, the 2s one half and the 2p one half state, Notice there's a slight difference in the energy level. The 2s state is slightly higher than the 2p state. Well, there appears to be a slight difference in the interaction between the electron being the 2s state and the electron being the 2p state and the nucleus of the atom. Now, when the electron transitions between one and the other, there's, of course, a wavelength that can be seen. It's actually a very long wavelength. That's because there's a very small energy difference. Notice it's 4.37 times 10 to the minus 6 electron volts, which is about a little bit, wow, it's even less than 10% the value that we would see when we're looking at the fine structure differences. So the difference here is about 10 times as much as the difference here. So it's a very small, very subtle difference, but it's there. And so what was thought in the past, that these were all at the same level, now we can see they're not at the same level, either due to the fine structure differences caused by the interaction between the spin direction and the orbital motion of the electron, or a slight difference because of the, the way the electron interacts with, with the nucleus is slightly different between being here and being there. And so again, we will see a very slight difference depending upon where the electron came from or lands on in its transition. If it lands here, versus landing there, there'll be a very slight difference in the energy difference, and therefore a very slight difference in where the, the line appears in the spectrum. But because the energy difference is so tiny, that would be very difficult to notice, very difficult to see, and typically, in most instances, we don't really worry too much about it. But it's interesting that it's there, we need to know about it, and it's called the lamp shift.